Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another New York City vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, we are still in New York. I hope you enjoyed the first New York City vlog. This is vlog two. Um, we're about to head down to Soho and get some shooting done. It's been a while since I've done any like straightforward fashion shots, outfit shots in New York City. And I would like to have some for all my cold weather babes who live here in the Northeast and also for like blog posts and um, other social media. Um, you know, every now and then your girl got to get her winter outfits off. So I booked a one day room at Nomo Soho Hotel. It's really great. Like if you're just in town for a few hours and you don't want the room for the whole day, they have a service where you can just rent the room for a few hours. Um, so that's what I've done. I've done this before. I, I think it's a great tip for any of you visiting New York City and you want like Soho vibe photos, but you're not actually staying in Soho. Yeah, so I rented a room at Nomo Soho. I'll put the details down below. Um, and we're just going to shoot a few outfits and then probably be around Soho a little bit, maybe get some lunch and such. So let's head down. I will give you all of the outfit details. You'll see all of the outfits shortly, but it should be a super fun day. Let's go. We made it to Nomo Soho. I'm going to show you the day rate room really quickly. Um, we're on the fourth floor, but this is the sink area, which is very nice. There is, of course, a full length mirror, which is great. Um, and this is the room. Not too shabby. There's a nice bathroom there. We have a little stand here a trash can over here is the closet which has a safe an ironing board and this is pretty much what you have here a bed there's a nice bed we have a little chair and table a tv and a window facing the street Oh, I forgot to show you all, there's also a shower. And it's usually like marble. So it's nice if you need to do any like shower campaigns, body um, campaigns, hair campaigns. So it's really deep too. And that's the bathroom. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and we will roll the footage here. Of course, I've linked all the outfits and everything down below and you can check them all out over on my Instagram.
back from shooting the shoot was very successful i loved how all of the photos came out i ended up shooting five looks there was uh, this all gray look where i'm wearing this ray gray card gray cardigan that i got from matches fashion i believe it's still on sale it's kind of like a kate dupe um it's still fairly expensive but the quality of it is great and i think i'm gonna get it in navy as well um and i paired that with my attico uh cargo pants which i saw that they were on sale somewhere as well and then my michael kors platform heels and my saint laurent sunglasses i believe that's what i wore with those so that was that look and then i wore both of my frankie shop coats i have a black one that i wore and i paired that with a gray uh off the shoulder sweater dress and i've had that sweater dress for a while i got it from revolve um i believe the brand is bardo i'll see if i can find that if they still have it but it's such a great like winter off the shoulder dress very like form fitting and warm um and then i had my celine sand i mean my celine boots with that and also my giant mcm diamond clutch i believe my code for 10 percent off with them still works I believe it's Monroe 10 for 10% off at MCM. Um, I'll confirm that and I'll put the right code in the description box as well as in a pinned comment below. But I love that bag. It is giant, but it also comes in a smaller size. Uh, I'm trying to think of <laughs> all the looks I shot. I did shoot my Something by Sanji blue Beyonce dress as well. And I paired that with another frankie shop coat but it's more of like a camel color and for the shoes i wore my foxy heels that i just got in from kendall miles those shoes are very comfortable they are a bit tall but to me they're made very very well and super comfortable i also paired those shoes with another look where i wore uh, a pair of army i think the brand is citizens um like army fatigue pants that are kind of cropped so you can see the shoe really well and a zara white turtleneck and i forgot what jacket i wore with that i cannot remember but yeah that was the look and then i wore my wu-tang shirt with uh the local european cargo skirt but i will be sure to link all five looks down below so you guys can check it out but yeah the shoot w went really well i liked all of the looks i mean my sneakers did get stolen but that's another story for another day um now i think i'm just going to eat the rest of like my breakfast for, from this morning it's about 3 30. Um, I'm going to dinner tonight. I'm meeting up with my girl uh, Tanya Darling T on Instagram and we're going to this really cool restaurant in Brooklyn. I've actually been there before and I've taken you guys but we're going again and then we're supposed to go to like this supper club like a new lounge uh, that they have in Long Island City. So it should be fun and I will check back in with you guys when we're getting dressed and ready to head to dinner tonight. All right guys, so I'm going to look up to dinner tonight but I placed a little order at Magnolia Bakery for delivery because it's definitely one of my favorite places to get a little snack. And I realized that they deliver. So I ordered a few things. First up, I ordered this caramel toffee cookie. I'm like obsessed with toffee. Oh, it's so good. Mm, you gotta get you one. If you go to Magnolia Bakery, there's like three or four in the city. Next up, I got the most famous thing from Magnolia Bakery, which is their whipped and swirled around the world banana pudding. Can you see it? This banana pudding is delicious. I love it because it's not too sweet i don't like super super sweet like frostings and things but it's not too sweet it has cookies in it it has bananas in it and it's like whipped up to absolute perfection 
Can you see it? This is a medium size. They come in small, medium, and large. So I got a medium. Next up, I got some cake. You're probably wondering, am I going to eat all these things? And the answer is yes. So I've never tried this cake before, but it's like a passion cake. It has, it's very similar to carrot cake, which is my favorite kind of cake. It has almonds. It has pineapple and something else, but it's like a Southern style piece of cake. And it smells really good and it looks good too. I can't wait to dig into this. And last but not least, pistachio is like my favorite kind of ice cream or not ice cream because I don't necessarily eat ice cream. But anything pistachio I love, especially like gelato. And so I got these little pistachio cupcakes. Ugh, they look so good. And they have like a vanilla cream merengue frosting um yeah so i just wanted to show you guys my order from magnolia bakery because when you come to new york you gotta go to magnolia bakery and get a whole bunch of delicious snacks especially the banana pudding i'm gonna eat just a few of these things not a lot because i'm going to dinner at fancy mata that's the name of the restaurant in about two hours um, I'm gonna shower, freshen up my makeup, and put on a new outfit for tonight. And then we're going to this new, like, lounge. I think it's called Record Room. I heard it's popping, but I think you need a, res a reservation to get in there. And I think it's in, um, Long Island City. Or oh, it should be fun. Um, I'm meeting up with my friend Tanya. I think Kayla's gonna be there. I don't know who else coming, but the more the merrier. But yes. I'm gonna save this for later. I'm probably just gonna eat my cookie and save the rest for tomorrow, but I was craving Magnolia and these New York videos, I wanna show you guys all my favorite places. Wasn't able to go, but you see, it's good. Okay, I'll check in soon. Hey y'all. So I'm in my office slash closet. I just took a shower and kind of redid my makeup i'm actually loving the fenty hbic um icon lipstick i usually wear the mvp i always thought that the uh, the hbic was like a blue red and that blue red didn't suit me but i don't know i've been wearing this blue red and i love it i don't know maybe it's just like me getting a little older i also added a nars um bronzer to my blush and i am feeling it I'll be sure to link it down below. Um, I have on this top from my most recent collection with something by Sanji. It is a sheer black turtleneck with exposed seams. I love this top. I, I believe some are still available. Um, we go from extra small to 3XL. It's a wonderful price. It's also pretty long. Um, and then I paired it with this local European cargo skirt in green. And in this skirt, in both the black one that you saw me in earlier with the Wu-Tang shirt, as well as this one, I'm wearing a large. Um, these skirts run really small. So I'm usually a size medium and I got a large. So make sure you size up one size from whatever you are. Um, but I love it. I'm going to pair it with some boots. But before that, I need to choose a fragrance. And we're gonna go with my favorite. I've been getting so many questions about this fragrance. Um, I believe this was like a collaboration for a like an artist house. Um, and they only have three of these fragrances. It's only available to buy on their website. I got this as a Christmas present. If you would have watched my what I got for Christmas video, um, my friend Amira, she sent this to me from California. Um, uh, but yeah, this is by Kaysen, K-A-E-C-E-N, um, and it's called Nudism, N-U-D-I-Z-M. If you want to look it up, you can look it up. Um, I will put it down in the description bar as well. You can only buy it on their website. Um, but yeah, it's very peppery, kind of strong, but also very vanilla-y. And I love it. I'm sure it's unisex. Um, but it just works so well 
with like my body chemistry and I just it, it, it just makes you smell edible which <laughs> I like so that's what I'm wearing tonight if you want to screenshot the bottle it has nudism on the back the brand is casein on the front and this is what the bottle looks like um i almost want to go and get their other two fragrances because i'm not sure if it's limited edition i know this is very very new they just dropped it in december of 2023 so yeah i think i'm like one of the first people to even try this um speaking of which they sent me a dm i need to respond to them um but it smells amazing i want to put some more on because <laughs> i'm going out tonight okay your girl is going to be out on the town and y'all know i don't really do like clubs like that like i love a good day party especially if it's like a caribbean party or you know like a brooklyn museum or you know a lounge or something like that but i've never i don't know if this is a club or a lounge or a mix of both but it's been a minute and your girl needs to smell good so i think that's all we're gonna do for tonight i'm gonna throw on my stuart weitzman boots grab my um ysl leather jacket and I'm not sure if I want to take a clutch or if I want to carry my Bottega bag. I don't think so. Maybe we'll take this little bag. I remember when I was working with Marshalls for like a year and a half and I picked this up at Marshalls. It's like super cute. Yeah, we're going to carry her. She's so cute. Like, look, don't sleep on Marshalls. They have cute stuff. Okay, I will show you guys the full look. And then I'm going to call a car because dinner is at 8.30. It's going to take me about 30 minutes just to get over there from Harlem. Let me just let y'all know that if you live in Harlem, you're dating somebody like in Brooklyn or like Queens, that's a long distance relationship. Um, I can fly to Miami quicker. Keep that in mind. All right, guys. So we're in my room. It's a mess in here. Um, I need to choose an earring. I mean, for the most part, I've been sticking with my um, Oscar De La Renta earrings, which they gifted me last year. And I really love these things. I mean, they're kind of simple, but then they're also kind of maximalist with their with the design. And they're just like so chic hoops. And I believe they are on sale at a few different places, but I'm not sure if these are the small or the medium, but I want the really big ones like this. Because you guys know I love a statement earring. Speaking of statement earrings, don't forget about my Hoop Mob jewelry um, earring collection. We still have just, we sold out of most of the pieces, but we do have a few things still left. Um, so yeah, make sure to check out my jewelry coll collaboration with hoop mob i've linked it down below in the description bar and in a pinned comment so you guys can shop it because once it's gone it's gone we bought pretty much like a limited run of pieces so yeah but thank you so much if you did buy anything like let me know which pair you ended up buying and if you want to see the entire collection check out my youtube shorts or just go under my vlogs and look for my jewelry line in the title um in December like beginning of December and you'll see a video showcasing the entire collection but yeah shout out to everybody who supported I appreciate you all so much some of you have been wearing your pieces and tagging us as well so thank you it's so nice to like see that it's really cool I actually have a pair but I didn't bring my gold pair I only brought a silver pair let me show you did I bring those oh yeah here they are and I believe these were one of the first to actually like sell out because they're just so unique. So they have like all of these little hang chains and then it has a little pearl and like a silver piece. These also come in gold, but I think these were one of the first to sell out. I think we might still have the silver left, uh, but yeah, be sure to check that out. All right, I'll show you guys the look. I'm going to call my car and we're going to head out. I wonder if I want to keep my hair down or put it up. I love a ponytail. All right, let me stop before I'm late. All right, guys, so here's the look. My Something by Sanji top. 
this little bag from Marshalls, my local European skirt. It's a cargo skirt with one slit on the side. And then I have on my Stuart Weitzman boots. I'll show you in the mirror. And then I'm just gonna put on my coat. All right, I'm a little backlit, so I hope you can see me, but this is the full look for tonight. Just throw on my Saint Laurent coat. This is one of my favorite skirts from local European. My Stuart Weitzman boots. I love the heel on these, like it's pretty unique. Never really seen that shape before. It's very kind of like retro. But that is the look for dinner tonight. Um, I'm also gonna grab this little scarf. This is super old. It's a circle scarf from American Apparel. And I can kind of put it around my head so that it's covering my head because that's mainly what's cold when I like step outside. Um, and then I just kind of tuck the rest into a closed jacket. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go.
Hey y'all. So your girl is back in Miami. Um, I had such a good time in New York. I think I left, I last left you off. I did a fashion shoot in Soho. I shot a few looks. Everything's linked down below. That was pretty fun. But somebody stole, stole my shoes, y'all. My Nike Dunks. I was like taking those to walk in and then changing into heels so I can shoot my outfits. And we always keep the sneakers near us, but someone just walked up and took them. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing about it now, but I was pretty upset um, because they were a gift and I really love those sneakers, but I found them in a few different places on like, I think they have them at Revolve and a few other places. So I'm just gonna replace them because I really love my Nike Dunks. That was my first pair of Nike Dunks too. Um, yeah, so that was unfortunate and that kind of put me in a bad mood because after shooting, I wanted to like walk around Soho, do a little um, window shopping, show you guys some of the stores that I love, but it just, it put a damper. And then I couldn't walk around in heels because that's all I had. So I was like, nah, I'm just gonna head home. And then that evening, I went out to dinner with my girls, Kayla Walker and uh, Tanya. Make sure to follow them on Instagram. Um, and we had a really good time. We went to this restaurant in Williamsburg called Fandi Mata. It is so good. It's like a Mediterranean restaurant. Uh, I got the lamb gnocchi and it was so divine. Y'all, the Branzino that they got was good. They have a Branzino for two that you can get. Um, we got meatballs they were so good we had a, a caesar salad even the salad was good y'all the drinks were flowing i ended up getting a, a chablis um cabernet and it was so good like i really enjoyed that restaurant it's a great like date night girls night out it's very sexy sometimes they have music um they have a band that comes and sometimes they have a dj as well so definitely check that restaurant out don't forget if you're coming to new york Go ahead and make yourself a list. Don't don't hop in my DMs four months from now and be like, girl, what was that restaurant you went? No. Go to the description box of all my New York City videos. Every place I go, every place I shop, I always put it, it in the description box, usually with the address of the place as well. So yeah, check that out. And then afterwards, we made our way over to like Long Island City to a speakeasy called Record Room. I believe it's fairly new. Um, like in front they have a cafe and it's like a real cafe in the morning Like you can go in there you can get a coffee all that good stuff But like after six I believe it turns into like a speakeasy and they take you down this through some curtains in the back A bunch of records are on like the walls and into this little room where there's like a DJ booth There's a bar. There's lots of little places to sit and chat They do have like finger foods like french fries and things, but it's not a place you go for dinner um, mostly just for drinks and the drinks were pretty good. I think I ended up getting like a a white wine Yeah, and it was just me Tanya um, Her man's Kayla and like two other guys and we just had a great time chatting Laughing dancing and this place is really like I want to say it's like a 35 and up type of spot because they only play music from that era of when like I was you know in my I want to say teenage to like mid 20 years so anybody like younger you probably won't <laughs> you probably won't know the music but it was fun we had like a great great time and I highly recommend that spot for like a grown and sexy kind of crowd um I'll put the details down below so yeah today we're back in Miami I woke up I got a workout in with my girl life with glory b she is like with Glory B here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. If you want to get into the classes, you need to either DM her or leave her a comment adding her um, and ask her to add you to the email list. There is a small fee for the workout classes, but I've been working out with her for three years. This is how my body is, how my body is body in, okay? We started working out together, just her and I, during lockdown when I was in New York, trapped in my apartment for months and had no human interaction and she was like girl i'm working out you want to work out with me and it just was us we just started with me, her and i just working out together on zoom almost every day during like the 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 panini the the vid and i said you know what you should like expand this and she's been doing it ever since she started the classes she started taking a small fee 
and it's just it's just grown and she has kept my body right and tight and gloria is in her 50s so i want to look like that when i'm in my 50s so yeah that's what i do um for my workouts and we usually do 30 minute workouts during the week and one hour workouts during the weekends and she targets everything we do glutes we do abs we do arms we do legs <laughs> we do everything so it's a really good workout and i highly highly recommend her she's very knowledgeable um and as a physical therapist y'all know and if you don't know i am a doctor of physical therapy i got my license in new york state um i got my degree from new york university and as someone who knows a lot about exercise physiology she is very well trained and well informed and also gives a lot of modifications in case you can't do a lot of the things if you're just starting out maybe you're overweight um, or maybe you're just not very physically active she always gives modifications so that everyone can do something which is great so i i highly enjoy those classes and then i did a bike ride today i went and biked south beach and then i went on the venetian i never knew that on south beach on collins that they have a like a a fair not a fair but like a market on the weekends normally i avoid riding my bike on the weekends because i already know that everyone's off like the boardwalk is going to be crazy but i just had to get a ride in today because the weather is gorgeous and coming from new york i needed to get out in the sun like you can already see like my little tan lines from my sports bra but yeah i needed to get out and i saw that they have a little market so I think I might go, I'm sure it's on Saturday and Sunday, or maybe it's on like only on Saturday, but I'm going to go tomorrow and check and see if they're out there. And if so, I'll give you guys more in depth of how the market is. They used to do a market on Lincoln Road every Saturday, um, and they kind of still do, but it's not as big as it used to be, probably because it's winter. Um, I think more like in the warmer months, like March and onward, it'll be, be bigger. And like vendors are there selling vintage items, selling designer items. Selling all kinds of things, really. Um, if you've ever watched any of my Miami vlogs when I lived in my old apartment in Miami, I've taken you guys to the uh, weekend market on Lincoln Road tons of times. So if you want to see what kind of stuff they have, definitely go back and check out my old Miami videos because it's lit. It really is. Um, so yeah, I got about 10 miles in and that's pretty much it. I have to do some maintenance today. I need to get my nails done. I need to get a wax uh, because next week I'm heading out of town again to a tropical warm weather location. I'm very excited. I'm going to take y'all with me. I am. So let me get myself together. I'm going to cook. Oh, I did end up riding my bike to Trader Joe's too and I stocked up on some things. By the way, that garlicky pasta from Trader Joe's, it's 210 calories per serving amazing and it it's so freaking good i bought like five of those. <laughs> i bought like five of those it's so good that's one of my favorite things from trader joe's you guys have got to try the garlicky pasta frozen pasta from trader joe's it's delicious um but i think i'm gonna cook myself like a bacon egg and cheese sandwich today uh when i was in new york in the previous new york vlog i went to jack's wife's frida restaurant in soho it's one of my favorite restaurants they make this avocado jalapeno sauce and i bought some like anytime i'm in new york i go and i buy a jar and i'm gonna put that on my my bacon egg and cheese and it's just going it's gonna slap it's gonna slap uh so i'm gonna cook and then we'll get ourselves together i'll take you guys with me for my maintenance day and then i got a few things in from fenty beauty as well as the line store um remember in one of the previous videos i went through my planners and my journal with you guys for the new year one of the really like the number one way i'm staying on top of my goals my tasks making sure everything is getting done in my life and not feeling a ton of anxiety about things i have to do um my life is in these two books this is my journal with all my thoughts and such and this is my agenda with literally everything I have to do, my YouTube schedule for the month, any events I'm going to for the month, any blog posts that I'm writing for every week, um, my newsletter, what the topics will be weekly. I mean, all the things are here. And I showed you guys how I DIY this 
by adding like a clear notebook from Amazon because it doesn't have a, a ring, but now it does. So yeah, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna put my agenda together with all of the 2024 agenda papers that I bought from the line store. All right, let's go cook because it's, it's 1249 and I haven't eaten anything today except for a multivitamin and some water. Um, and my nail appointment is at three and I need to get waxed before then. So we need to get, we need to get a crack. And by the way, I am makeup free. Makeup free. I mean, I still got a little hyperpigmentation going on here, but, and I find a new mole on my face every day because I'm getting older and that's just what happens. But the skin is skinning. Boop. Used to the people. Kale and spinach hyaluronic um, cream. As well as the Ula Henriksen um, retinol serum. Water. Um, mind of my business. And eating right. <laughs> studio in Miami um, I just got a, a full Brazilian it took less than 10 minutes not painful they're super thorough quick and I love it I usually come here once every like five six weeks because I'm a hairy girl <laughs> So it is a brand new day. I think I last left you off yesterday. I ended up going to Uni K Wax Studio and getting a Brazilian. And a Brazilian is front and back. I'm gonna also get like my lower stomach and also my inner thighs because your girl, I'm a hairy girl. Okay, I'm a hairy girl. I usually get waxed about every six to seven weeks. Um, I find that with their wax, like I don't have to wax as often, like the hair just kind of stays gone. And then when it does come back, it grows in super fine. They are so thorough, so quick. I'm in and out in 10 minutes. So I love that, that, that spot. Um, and then I went to Henna Nail and Spa. You guys know that's where I always go. I found out about th them through the app um, Class Pass which is a cool app that you can download to find beauty, health, fitness, Pilates, um, massages, all kinds of like health and beauty related services in your area. 
Um, so what I do is I just get a, I buy a couple of points every month and that literally the, the points, I think I spend maybe $200, um, a month on my subscription and that gives me like 180 credits, I believe. And that is enough for me to get my nails done two times a week. I mean, once every week for a month. So pretty much four times for the month I get my nails and my toes done and if I were to pay for that outside of the app it would cost me $400 a month. It would be $100 every time to get a mani-pedi. Um, so the fact that I only pay $200 is great. I'm getting a deal. So yeah, definitely check out ClassPass. But a lot of you always ask what do I wear on my nails and my favorite one is OPI uh passion it's like a super kind of can you see it it's like a nudie natural with a slight pinkish undertone um and it just looks super glossy and fresh and i just get my uh normal nails done i also have tried this in the gel formula as well and both are amazing so yeah, you can screenshot that or I'll put it down below. But if you just like a natural nail with a little bit of a glossy pink undertone, OPI Passion is great and they also have the gel if you like gel formula. So yeah, I got myself together today. Um, I made myself a little breakfast. Well, not really because here's the thing. I shouldn't make a what I eat in a week or some kind of video like that. But I eat the same things. <laughs> I made myself some gluten-free pancakes this morning from Trader Joe's and some eggs. And that's pretty much it. And I put a little bit of that sauce from Jack's Wife's Frida, the avocado jalapeno everything sauce on my eggs. Oh, I'm going to be so upset when I run out of that jar. Like I'm ready to fly back to New York just to get another jar. I wonder if they sell it online. Anywho, yeah, that's what I have for breakfast. And I got myself together because I'm going to an antique show today. I've reached the big age where I, I, I want to go to an antique show. <laughs> I saw that they were having one here in Miami Beach at the convention center, the same place where they hold like Art Basel and they have all of the art. Um, and it's like a, a five day event. And so I bought a ticket yesterday. It cost me 50 bucks and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna check it out. What they have is they have a ton of antique jewelry like I'm talking gaudy, like uh, big chunky gold jewelry, like uh, hand blown things, like just really cool things. They have jewelry. They also have bags. I think there is a booth that has like Birkins. Um, I think they have clothes. They have a lot of like antique furniture. And I'm just like really into things that are like unique and one of a kind at this point. I'm not going with anything to buy in mind, but I wanna see what they have and I wanna show you all what they have as well. And I believe this one antique um, show actually goes around the country to different cities. Uh, so I will give you all the details down below in the description bar. Maybe I'll do a blog post as well. So that's what we're doing today. So I am dressed in this Norma Kamali bodysuit. A lot of people think it's a shirt, but it is literally a bodysuit. Like it has underwear connected here. Um, and it's just like a white poplin. I love the oversized kind of back sleeve top. And then it buttons up with Velcro. And I just have this little bra underneath. My earrings are from my Hoop Mob collection. These are the Paradise earrings. They also come in silver. Uh, and then I have on these super old jeans from H&M. They're just like a cropped mom jean. I really like back into my mom jean era. So let's have a seat at my desk because I want to show you guys what I got from the line shop. My paper for my agenda finally came in. So I want to go through and show you guys how I set up my agenda for 2024. All right, so let's get into what I got from the line shop. And it is actually a Canadian company. So it'll take a little while for it to get to you because they use just like the US or Canadian Postal Service. Um, but yeah, this is the brand, the line shop. And I ordered a ton of things. And so as a gift, they also sent me a passport, a little passport book. So let me show you guys that first. And I'm actually gonna need a passport book because the girl is going out of the country in about two days. But how cute. 
So this is a really cool passport holder. It just has a ton of little like pockets here for cards and then of course where you can slip your passport inside. It's a nice kind of like leather. Feels really good and super like just minimal and chic and I love that. So shout out to them for this cool gift. Now, here is my agenda. It is the Louis Vuitton um, A5 uh, cover and I turned it into a ringed notebook by adding this little like clear uh, six ring notebook from Amazon. I would have shown that to you guys in a previous vlog. Uh, I will buy all of the things. I mean, I will <laughs> link down below all of the things I bought from Amazon. So I just cut it to size and then I slid it into the sleeves. Now Louis Vuitton does sell these with uh, the six ring binder, but they have been out of stock for like a year and I didn't want to wait anymore. So I DIY this myself. Now the first page you see says MS. Those are my initials. And this is like a little paper cover from my book that I bought um, from the line shop. Oh, by the way, Aly Alyssa Lenore is who put me on to the line shop and I believe I used her code and it got me like 10% off of my order for everything that I bought from the line shop. So definitely check out Alyssa Lenore. She's based in New York. She's great. She does like a lot of travel, her and her spouse, a lot of like luxury beauty reviews. Um, and I've met her in person. She's super nice. Love her content. It's very like soothing and, and lovely. But yeah. So I got my I got this little cover. That was the first thing from the line shop. And then I got a year at a glance sheet. I actually got two of them. So you have the whole 2024 year at a glance, which is great. And then I went through every single month. I got the goals and plans spreadsheet. And then where you guys see like the little today tab, I actually got that little today tab from Amazon. But these are all of the months starting with January. And it just goes through I love this because it just breaks everything down into weekly tasks and I have so many tasks to do every freaking week that it's good to have it broken down weekly. Um, so I'll have like a description, a description of important dates for the, for the week um, and then to do and notes for the week. And I also got a monthly calendar to put in front of that. So they just have everything that you could possibly need. And I love how like aesthetic and like gorgeous it is. Now in the back, I have this little receipt holder, these little receipt holder bags that I got from Amazon. Really you can put anything in there, but I like to put my receipts for uh, like the month there. And then I kind of categorize them um, at the end of every month, which is been working out nice for me. Cause I used to just have a photo where I threw all of the receipts in there and you know as an entrepreneur you I believe you need to keep your receipts for up to three years so it worked out perfectly I love everything that I got I also got these little separators that come with different things like this one has personal on it so I'm actually gonna put the personal one in my journal so this is my journal where I write like daily uh, journaling posts so I can put that in here which is really thick because your girl be right uh, that was one of my New Year's goals to read more, to write more. So I'm just glad that I finally got everything in and it's nice and organized. And you can definitely check out the line shop below. I'll make sure to link it. All right, guys, let's choose our fragrance for today. I'm feeling very like feminine and kind of flirty. So we're going to go with um, Saint Clair by Joseph Duclo. I picked this up in Paris, uh, I wanna say in 2022. Gosh, the years are just flying, man. So it smells just very powdery and just, it's beautiful. That's the only way I can describe it, but it smells amazing. I'm gonna pop on my Hermes uh, purple fur slides. And probably go with my Bottega bag so I can throw you guys in there. Or maybe I can wear my new purple bag 
so it can match my shoes. You guys remember, I got this super cute purple crop bag from um, Brahmin. That would be cute. Oh, it's a vibe. Okay, I'm gonna wear this, and it works as like a shoulder bag as well. Um, they gifted me this during the holidays, so if you're looking for beautiful quality, um, but like more affordable luxury bags, definitely check out Brahmin. Um, I've been working with them for years, actually. They were one of the first brands that I ever partnered with, maybe like seven, eight years ago. But how cute. And it matches pretty well. Yeah. All right, you guys, let's go. I'll show you the full fit and we are out of here. All right, guys, so here is my full outfit of the day. This Norma Kamali um, bodysuit top. This is one of my best purchases ever. Like, it's so chic. And now they make them in every color. Like, they have them in brown, like a nudie, caramel, um, and I think green as well. But I love this bodysuit. Uh, the jeans are old from H&M. They're like a mom jean. But what I love about them is they have, like, this little dart in the back hopefully you can see super cute i have on my hermes purple slides i think i bought these in new york at hermes and then i have my brahmin bag and then the earrings the paradise hoops from my hoop mob collaboration i believe we're having a sale soon on whatever is left from the collab but if you love my taste in jewelry definitely check out hoop mob during the month of December, we dropped a collection together with, I believe, seven different styles of earrings. Um, all super affordable. Uh, most of them are under 30 bucks, with most under 20, I believe, actually. So yeah, I'll link that collection down below. This is the look. Let's go look at some antiques and hopefully not spend too much money.
y'all so i am back from the miami um antique show it was at the convention center which is huge it was i've never seen so much gorgeous like vintage jewelry ever <laughs> um i almost lost my mind in there and i really had to kind of speed walk through it because i think i got there at like two um and i just left at maybe six but once you buy a ticket it's good for every single day that it's open so i may go back tomorrow i saw these gorgeous vintage chanel earrings they were missing a few pearls but they were stunning um, these two really cool vintage gucci buckle ceramic watches one was yellow and black one was green and red stunning and you guys know i don't really wear watches like that but i ended up buying a watch you would have seen it in the video by the way i got so much love on my brahmin bag and this is like the directory and there's like so many jewelry places in here like vintage and antique places they also had a lot of, of booths that had uh like birkins and chanel bags and things but your girl went for the jewelry i ended up getting this gorgeous watch ah! how cool so it is a vintage watch with a ton of different like old vintage watches <laughs> um and it's so cool all of the watches work um and they're all just gorgeous like i've i've, I've seen a watch like this before somewhere and ever since then, I have always wanted one and it looks so great with my jewelry stack. As you can see, I have the Cartier Love bracelet in the biggest size. And then I have the Tiffany T-Twist bracelet with diamonds and um, white pearl. And then I have this super cool watch with six heads. Oh, I, I'm in love with it. So now your girl finally has a watch. So yeah, super thrilled with my vintage purchase. And I feel like it finishes off my stack really nicely. And I love that it's a little bit bigger so it won't really like rub against my Cartier and my Tiffany. Ah! My arm party is finished guys. I did try on a beautiful vintage cartier watch which was thirty thousand dollars like if anything this vintage show showed me or this antique show showed me that i need to get my money up or <laughs> i need to save and then do a shopping spree once a year at this show i'm gonna go every year from now on um because it was amazing and i saw things i've never seen before vintage things things no one has very unique pieces from all over the world there were parisian vendors um all the states in america um abroad from, they literally came in from everywhere all over the world to be a part of this vintage show and so yeah now that i know about this show i'm gonna go every year i'm gonna put a little money aside every month for my antique show fun so that i can buy at least like one beautiful piece every year so i'm really trying to round out my uh fine jewelry collection you know your girl's getting older and it's time for me to stop playing <laughs> stop playing for real for real um i also got another little something from a vendor and this was a much smaller vendor and these are just a pair of earrings that i saw each comes with a dust bag because they're quite large and they're so gorgeous let me show you guys look how stunning these earrings are can you see them oh they're gorgeous so they're just vintage they have like no name on them um and they were fairly affordable as well like actually super affordable compared to all the other things they're vintage they're clip-ons i'll try them on for you but the reason i like them so much is because they remind me of scaparelli earrings which are astronomical in price i would like to own a pair one day but i love the fact that these are actually vintage and they are just gorgeous like if i wear my hair back or off my face 
they are just gorgeous i love the pearl you guys know i'm aka so anything with pearls i'm very attracted to even though i don't wear pearls that often these are just so gorgeous and i'm obsessed with them and i like that they look a little old <laughs> um so yeah i ended up getting these earrings and that was everything that i got from the show um, I was strongly considering getting both of those Gucci watches because they're just so rare. Um, but I don't know if I wear silver enough, but they were gorgeous, those two watches. But these are the earrings, and I'm pretty obsessed with them. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me these last few days in New York City. Well, from New York City to Miami. Um, everything you've seen in today's video is linked down below in the description box for you guys. I have to do a little bit of work now. I have to go ahead and upload these videos so you all have a video for Wednesday. And I need to pack because your girl is going on a vacation. Vacation. And I can't wait. And I also need to film a sit-down video for you guys for Sunday so that while I'm on vacation, y'all have something to watch because I care about y'all. Um, don't forget to check out my blog, Fashion Steel NYC. I'm posting new posts every single Monday. You can also shop all of my outfits directly from my blog if you don't want to download the Like to Know It app or you just don't want to go to the Like to Know It site. Even though it's very, very simple, if you just click the link down below that says shop my outfits, it'll take you to where I link all of my outfits, including the one I have on. Um, and all of my past outfits as well. So if you saw a video three years ago and you're wondering, girl, where's that dress from? It's probably on my Like to Know It. And there's a photo reference. So head on over there, head to my blog every Monday, Fashion Seal NYC for all the tea. If you want to know more about me, head to the essay section because that's where the real tea is and where I am very unhinged. And you can find all of the fun things. And then there is a fashion section. There is a home decor section with all of the links to pretty much everything I have in my Harlem apartment as well as everything I have in my Miami home. Um, what other sections are there? There's a bunch of different sections. Blogging, there's a blogging section with literally everything you need to know about being an influencer from the time I started up until now, including like money, negotiating, all the things are on my blog, Fashion Steel NYC. So go ahead and click the subscribe button on my blog so that you get a notification anytime I upload a new post. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Check the description bar for links to everything. And I will see you all in the next one. Thumbs up, don't forget, thumbs up. All right, you guys, bye.